Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Law Pharmacy. So this is one of the most important topic that is tannins. And as we know that tannins is a secondary metabolite. And in tannins, we can identify tannins by using the Gold Beaker Skin Test. And tannins are classified into three categories. Those are hydrolyzed tannins or hydrolyzable tannins. And next, condensed tannins. And next, the third one is the pseudo tannins. Okay. So, what are hydrolyzable tannins? The tannins which are hydrolyzed by the enzymes or acids are called as hydrolyzable tannins. And the examples of hydrolyzable tannins are pomegranate bark, and that is bark of pomegranate, and gallo tannins, and clove, rhubarb, and nut gall. So, these are the examples of hydrolyzable tannins hydrolyzable tannins and when it comes to condensed tannins these are opposite to the hydrolyzable tannins means the tannins which are not hydrolyzable or resistant to hydrolysis are called condensed tannins example catechu that is pale catechu black catechu wild cherry bark cinchona and cinnamon and when it comes to the third group that is the subclassification of pseudo tannins the subclassification of the tannins those are the pseudo tannins means pseudo means false and the subgroup of tannins which have the low molecular weight and that which does not obey the gold beaker skin test so that's why we call this is as the pseudo tannins means the test which are only obeys the gold beaker skin test are tannins but it is not obeying so it's a pseudo tannins example especially chlorazenic acid in coffee and nux vomica and catechins in cocoa. Thank you.